One tool we use to evaluate your child's diabetes care routine is a blood test that we call A1C, also known by its more formal names, HbA1c or hemoglobin A1c. The results of this test show the average blood glucose level for the last two to three months by measuring what percentage of the hemoglobin, a protein in red blood cells, is coated with sugar. According to the American Diabetes Association, children with type 1 should aim for a hemoglobin A1c of less than 7.5%. To reach this goal, we try to have around 50 to 60% of the blood glucose values in the target range. The more time your child can spend in the target range, the easier it will be to reach that A1C level and have healthier outcomes later in life. Your diabetes team may also have different A1C goals for your child based on family medical history. To stay in the target range, it is important to know how to check for and deal with high and low blood glucose results. At diagnosis, people with T1D are given a baseline A1C test. The result of this A1C test was probably above 6.5%, which helped us confirm the diagnosis. This baseline lets us track the progress the next time the person is tested so we can see if there are any changes we need to make to their diabetes care routine. Once someone has been diagnosed with T1D, their A1C can go below 6.5% with proper control, but this does not mean they are cured of diabetes. This chart shows how A1C translates to average blood glucose. All blood glucose factors into the A1C, including lows and highs. This is why time spent in the target range is important. A higher average blood glucose leads to a higher A1C percentage. A high A1C can indicate poor blood glucose control and higher risk for complications due to type 1 diabetes. T1D tip. The A1C test may sound very important, but we would like you to know that this test is just one thing we look at when treating your child's T1D. Many parents feel worried about this number like it's a report card of how well they're handling diabetes. A1C is not a test of how much you love your child or a reflection of how hard you are trying. Like any blood glucose result, the number does not define you. It just helps us know what is working and what needs to change. That's right, Rosalie. There are lots of things that can help us determine how well the T1D is being taken care of, and small steps can always be taken to help improve diabetes management. In the next module, we'll talk about different kinds of diabetes equipment and what items should be carried by the child or their immediate caregivers every day.